New reports show 63 people are dead as wildfires ravaged through Northern California. And we're learning a former Emporia pastor and his wife just barely escaped the flames. KSNT News reporter Raina Garcia talked with him about how they made it out and what's keeping their hope alive after this tragedy. Magalia, California last March. McHenry is a pastor at a church in the nearby city of Paradise, a town that was completely devastated by the wildfires. Pastor Andrew McHenry was on his way to meet with someone at his church in Paradise, California. On his way, he recalls seeing a dark cloud of smoke inching closer and closer to the city. And there was something real ominous in the way the wind was blowing. Um, my appointment was canceled and people were telling me that there was a fire. The firefighters weren't at it yet and it was headed our way and that Paradise might be evacuated. That's when he went to his home in nearby Megalia, a city threatened by the fires. He and his wife loaded up their cars and headed for safety. But with so many people trying to get out of town, the traffic came to a standstill and left them separated from each other. With the fire quickly approaching, he got out of his car to find his wife. I did honestly wonder whether I was going to live to see the end of the day. And I, in fact, I, when I went back to, to, I parked my car and went back to be with my wife, my honest thought was, if we're going to die, I want to be with her when we, do, when we do that. The McHendrys were able to make it out and are now staying with a friend. Both his church and his home were completely destroyed in the fire. Despite the loss, Andrew remains optimistic. These times of suffering can bring out the best in us. They can help us draw near to the Lord. The McHenrys aren't sure when they will be allowed back into town to see what's left of their home and their church. Raina Garcia, KSNT News. Scary deal there, but certainly I admire their faith. McHenry says he has received support from the First Congregational Church in Emporia, where he was formerly the pastor.